Hello and welcome to another update of RPG Playground. Today I have a very nice update for you and that is that you can use your own graphics. Now I call this reskinning because it's really adapting the existing graphics but the functionality remains the same. So you can do some changes, even use other characters, but know that these characters will act the same as the ones already there. And if you adapt tile sets, then also the tile sets will act the same. That means collisions, the height, etc. So let's jump right in and let me show you how you can use it. Of course, you will need premium for this to work. And right now, premium is still at a huge discount. It's only $14, but remark, because of this update, the price will increase to $19. So be quick, make sure you buy it now, because about next week, I will adapt the price from $14 to $19. So make sure you buy it now. And of course, $19 will still be cheap because as I add more features, the price will keep increasing. So make sure you're fast, you buy it at a huge discount. All right, so as you can see, we have resources here. If we click it, it will open images. Currently, there is only images here. And then we can see all kinds of graphics that the game is using. So that means all the character, the faces, Let's go down, the doors, also the icons you can adapt, like the coin that you will see in the user interface, pick up shadows, the animations for explosions, and then all the tile sets. All the tile sets are here, so you can also adapt those. Remark that, for example, if you see water, those animations will stay, so make sure you kind of if you want to use new graphics make sure they match the current ones in functionality all right so how do you adapt such a graphic let's try it out let's just go to characters press download and at that point the graphic will be downloaded then on your system you can open this graphic and if we open it here we found our main character so Let's just say I want to make a few changes here. Make sure we only have our character. And then let's change some of the colors. As you can see here, we can change the hue a bit. We can really go crazy here, of course. Let's have like the green hair, maybe like that. Lightness, saturation, let's make it a bit gray. We save this file and when it's saved, we can upload it. So let's upload it. First, there is a warning that of course you cannot use any copyrighted material or graphics from existing games, things like that. So make sure you also don't use any of the RPG Maker graphic because they don't allow you to use those graphics in other engines. So make sure if you have existing graphics, look at the license and really see if you can use them on other engines or not. And if you do, or if you just made some adaptions yourself, click agree and then select the file and then it will upload the new image. Of course, this new image will have, need to have the same dimensions. If the image is smaller or bigger in size, then it will actually complain and say, hey, uh, you need to have the same dimensions as the original image. Okay, let's close it and see. Okay, we have our new character here. So as you can see, the colors of the hair has changed. And of course, we can do the same thing with the tile sets, for example. This is like a gray pumpkin. I also want to make these pumpkins gray. How do we do that? Let's go to the tile sets. Here is like a picker. I want to know in which tile set this thing comes from. So this is Inquisitor outside. Okay, let's go to the resources. Find Inquisitor outside, which is here. Okay, that's a huge tile set. Let's download this one. And let's find the pumpkin. So here we have the pumpkins. So let's select that one. Also select this one. And then adapt the colors. Desaturate it. All right, cool. Save it. 
And then same thing, let's upload the graphic here. Uploading and as you can see, those pumpkins are now also gray. So that's basically all that I wanted to show you. Now, if you want to use some graphics, but actually you're not that good in pixel art, well, no problem. Because on our Reddit page, I added a wiki. And if you go here, you can see pixel art packs. And if you click on that one, then you go to a page where I added a whole bunch of pixel pack graphics. Let's go to World of Solaria, which is a nice one. So here you can see you can download some different packs. They're all very nice. And if you have 16 by 16 pixel packs, no problems. Just double the size because my engine is using 32 by 32 pixels. And then you can use those graphics. But I want to say again, those things are paying. So make sure you have a valid license, pay for the graphics. You will help out the artists a lot, of course. And once you have a valid license, you can use those things, upload them to RPG Playground. Now, this is a feature that a lot of you have been waiting for, even if it's just to do small adaptions or using your own graphics. Now, if you like RPG Playground, you can help me out by giving this video a thumbs up. And of course, buy premium while it's still cheap. Go to RPG Playground and check out the new feature. Have fun and I'm very curious what kind of graphics you will use in your games. See you next time. Bye.